Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk this more Cyberpunk 2077. Let's go get the bully mod. The bully mod is, um, you may have found it. I found this several times. Here it is. This thing here. In the uh, 25 legendary armor run, I think I found it two or three times. It's embedded in this piece and a couple of other pieces. It gives you plus 30% crit damage, and I believe it applies to all weapons. It's a crit damage stat that will go on your stats page, so it will be listed here. All right, let's go get it. I know where to get it for free, completely free. You don't need tech 10. I originally thought you needed tech 10, but um, anyways, I'll get to that later. I made a promise to myself I would... Um, Get right to the point in my videos more so let's go get it and i'll talk about why it's important next video um we are here starting at v's apartment and we're going to fast travel to a location that everybody's guaranteed to have that is the arisaka tower you may have a closer location here at pacific pier but um we're going to start here and it is located at a place called the grand imperial mall which is right here I can't put a waypoint there because I'm in the fast travel. Okay, so let's go to Arisaka Tower. Now we are going to draw a wave. Whoop! That's kind of a weird thing that uh, Cyberpunk does when you drag the map. Okay, um, the Grand Imperial Mall. It's right, it's here. This is it right here. You can put a waypoint right there. So all we have to do is drive there. If you have Tech 10, you'll be able to get it, no problem. If you don't have Tech 10, a good off-road vehicle will help. I'm not sure you can do it with a regular vehicle, like a sports car or... Everybody can get the Colby Butte for free. If you don't know where to get the Colby Butte, which is what this is here, check out part 31 of my multi-build power start. Okay, once again, that's part 31. It shows you how to get a free off-road vehicle. This one right here. And, well, I'm just gonna drive there. Honorable mention goes out to Florian. You know who you are. For uh, providing me with the embarrassingly simple solution to getting out of the Grand Imperial Mall after you get locked in. So embarrassingly simple that I decided that after this video um, I'm gonna give up video gaming and go live in an off-grid cabin in the woods. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But no, that that was really real facepalm embarrassingly simple. Um, did I? Oops, I went out. Okay. No disrespect intended to anybody who lives off-grid in a cabin in the woods. In fact, that's that's on my on my bucket list. Like seriously, do what I'm. Okay, that's it. Okay, you know no, that that's seriously on my bucket list. Buy some land and build my own cabin. I think that would be so freaking cool. Like way cool. Yo, and he threads the needle. Okay, here we go. Punch it, Chewy. Okay, here we go. You see it in the distance there. Grand Imperial Mall. It's all busted up, broken down. We are actually going to visit here uh, much later in the game for a main job, but you can break in now, even before the job is activated. And I have since just just like an hour ago discovered a real easy way to get past the Super Mario problem as well. 
Okay, so basically you're driving right by the Grand Imperial Mall and you're looking for the loading area on the left side of the mall, right there. See that loading area? I'm going to drive right in here. Drive right in here. Hopefully I can do it this time. I just did this. I didn't really test it that many times, but this is an easy way to get past the Super Mario problem. So drive right in here. Okay, and you're looking for that macroware loading dock sign. Let me just give you the uh, the long and short of what's going on in here. In here. Climb up here. Climb up here. You have this Tech 10 door that you need to get past. Okay. Um, coming up next, I'm going to do a video on... Um, <clears throat> how to prepare the best starter armor for those who are going for a tech weapons build and all tech weapons build will require at least tech 12 so if you are going to make a tech weapon build you'll be able to get in here no problem just you know punch up your uh your tech ability to 10 and you'll be able to get in but if you don't have tech 10 you want to get in real you want to get in free and cheap okay you're going to have to get up here you can get up here using the either the fortified ankles cyberware or the other one. I forget what the I think it's like fortified tendons or something like that. Both of them cost forty-five thousand bucks, which will allow you to double jump or charge jump up there. If you are if you don't want to spend that money, you can still get up there. One way is like this is really finicky. I just I've done it before once, twice actually but it requires some real Super Mario skills and a lot of patience. You climb up here and push push here, and you're gonna have to like slide to the right and immediately push forward and spam the jump button to grab. So push slide right, slide right. There, I did it. See, that's one way to do it. If you're not very good at that kind of stuff, another way, which I think is much easier, is just take your off-road vehicle, carefully drive in here, now you can't go over there because it's in the way, but what you can do is use the stairs on the right. Okay. Like that. Then back up a little bit. Just kind of shimmy around. <laughs> Maybe this is actually harder. I did it before. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just like that. It's not that hard. Okay. Drive your vehicle right in here. And all I have just just neatly park your vehicle underneath this platform here. Right about there. Yeah, that's a lot easier. And then just climb up on the hood of your car, up here, and jump. And you're up. And the window's shut. <laughs> when you know it. I wonder what I wonder how that happened. Um yeah, that's, that window is prone to shutting for some reason. I don't know when it shut, but... Uh, okay, so what I have nano safe here somewhere? Here. Okay, we're back. And the window is open. I'm pretty sure, let me just do a quick save here. I'm pretty sure that as soon as you get up on that platform and then leave, like as soon as you get near the window and then move away from it, it will shut, which is why you get locked in. Let me just try this again to make sure that this is not an issue with driving the car in there because I've done this before, no problem. I'm getting it better at, see the window's still open. Still open. Still open. Out you go, V. Still open. Up you go. And there you go. That's how to get in. No tech 10. Uh, no fortified ankles. Nothing. Alright? So once you're in, um, you may want to loot this thing here because 
that's like 2,000 year old dolls. I just heard the window shut. See? It's now shut. Okay, that's okay. Like I said, um... I now know how to get out. Um, to get the bully mod. I'm going like way ahead of myself. Go up the stairs. Okay, from here. Go up the stairs. Read the story here. Go past the triple extreme sign on the left. And you're looking for... Kabayan Foods. Go in Kabayan Foods. Go all the way through. Here you see that door is going to be locked. Turn to the right here. Hook around. Hook around and find the cinema. In here. Go to the double doors. Go through this funny loop-de-loop. -loop and into the theater. Go up these stairs here. Through here. Through the door on the right. Hook around to the right. And there, Shazam! is your bully mod for free okay now all you have to do is get out just retrace your steps back out back onto this area here look for the Kabayan Foods sign go to the right go back through Kabayan Foods all the way through back into the mall Look for the triple extreme sign over there on the right. Go past the triple extreme sign. Find the exit door next to it, right here. By the way, this is the only way out. And then here is the tech lock door. This is where I got stuck, but um, there's actually a switch here. I can't believe I overlooked this. Just hit the switch and um, there you go, you're out. So there you go, so that's how to get the bully mod for free. No tech tam required, right? Did it right this time. And he even got you past the Super Mario crab. Oh yeah! Haha! <laughs> Thumbs up for the Slackster. Alright, so let's drive to the uh Don't need to have that. Okay, watch out. Watch the explosive container there. Okay, now there's a fast travel location just over there. See that like ramp leading up out of the, the mall parking lot? There's a fast travel station right there. And I'm going to do this as a separate video. It makes more sense. And we're going to go back with our bully mod to V's apartment. And we're going to pick up next video with some detailed instructions on how to prepare your armor for several different tech weapon builds and you're going to want to do this because um, if you want to experiment with different tech weapon builds um, you only want to do this once all right it involves some tedious crafting which i'll explain first thing next video all right so thanks a lot for watching that's how to get your free bully mod and um i'll see you next video Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.